none other than the famous Senator Wetangura Weta Maramoja. Hamjambo wote, hamjambo tena. God is good, and all the time. My good friend Peter Munga, and the foundation you lead, Titus, and all the hosts of today. My colleagues from OCA, our members of parliament, and the many leaders here assembled, including a strong team from the mountain, we are here to engage. And to engage, we must free ourselves, think openly, freely. Barack Obama said you cannot shake hands with a clenched fist. We'll shake hands with open arms. And we are happy that you invited us. You invited us to talk to us and us to talk to you. And this kind of engagement is critically important for a public discourse and conversation in this country. I want to tell you, our Mount Kenya brothers and sisters, don't live in fear, don't fear to live, because this is your country. And this country belongs to all of us. When uh, Bwana Waigwa was talking, he mentioned about people from Mount Kenya who are out there in the Kenyan diaspora. Bwana Waigwa in Transoya, the ruling party is for Kenya, led by yours truly. And among the CEC members, we have a young girl from Kiambu as a minister in Transoya in embracing other Kenyans and actualizing the constitution that devolution did not balkanize our country but enhanced diversity and unity. And we'll continue doing that. In 2007, 2008, when this country was on fire, when people were running helter-skelter, the Kaunda representative of Bungoma became a refuge for the people from Mount Kenya. They moved in, settled in, in two months, we had more than 10,000 Mount Kenya origin residents moving into Bungoma. They acquired property, they invested, they live very happily with us. And you Mount Kenya brothers and sisters are very lucky. You have produced three presidents for our great republic. And I'm very happy, Wanamunga and your team, that this time round, you've come to a very positive realization that this country has many communities, many regions, and is desirable to rotate and share opportunities of leadership. What you are telling us, and we agree with you, is if it comes your way, what do you do with it? What do you do for us? What ring fencing will you give to our country? Not to any individual, because I believe that an opportunity available to a Mount Kenya citizen in this country must be equally available to an Elmolo in Loyangalani. 
must be equally available to somebody from Kwale, from Iteso, from everywhere. That is the Kenya we want. Today, when you go to our homes, most of our children don't speak what we commonly call mother tongue. They have just one language, English or Swahili, and they're just Kenyans. Sheng is a corruption of one of the two. <laughs> we want to build a country where opportunities are available to everybody, regardless of your background. I just came from US yesterday, and I met a gentleman from Meru in a Kenyan convocation in Los Angeles, and he showed me a deep wound and crack on his head. And he told me I was hit on the streets of Nairobi when we were fighting for the constitution. I was locked up. I fled the country. I will not come back. I told him, please, if you want to come back, Kenya is different. Today, we are fighting with ideas, not with the stones, not with the sticks, and God forbid, not with guns. The Kenya we want is the Kenya we must create. There are no angels that will descend on our country to create our country. It is us. Like Kennedy said, don't ask what your country is doing for you. Ask yourself, what are you doing for your country? And we look at Mr. Munga here. He created Equity Bank from a microfinance to the largest bank in this country and in this region. We must salute him. And Julius Nyerere once said, these Chinese, they're a billion. They produce enough food, feed themselves, and give us some as aid. Surely they must have something for us to learn from them. So when you look at Mr. Munga, surely there must be something we can learn from him. And that he has given us his quality time to sit here and talk about our country is something worth to behold. And we as Oka come to you, the Mount Kenya brothers and sisters, to tell you that we believe in equity, we believe in freedom, we believe in hard work, and we believe in just rewards for hard work. You have the right people with you. Don't worry about us coming in a big number. In fact, in social life, the security numbers. So when you see four or five of us, don't worry. At some point, they'll be the first among equals. And the first among equals will not be exalted because he's the first. He will be a person of humility, acceptability, and above all, the vision and the mission to change this country. We have walked a journey. I have also a story to tell about my relationship with Mzekibaki. I'm sure you from Mount Kenya know that 207, without me and Mother Karua, who are with Mzekibaki, he kitingeenda. Munajua, Muzali kwa mezingirwa. Mimi na msichana wenu Mother Karua. Tulisimama kidete. Mzee Kibaki akanituma nikaenda Ghana. Nikaleta chairman wa AU John Kufo then the president. Nikarudi akanituma nikaenda nikaleta Kofi Annan. Nikarudi wakati mambo ilikuwa imeshindikana kabisa. Akaniambia kimbia Tanzania ulete Jakaya Kikwete. Nikaenda so I also have my own paragraphs and chapters in the history <laughs> of this country that when the chips were down, 
I stood up to be counted. I didn't exalt myself thereafter. I remained what I am. And I do believe in all sincerity that Gideon Moy or Kalonzo or Mudavadi or myself or whoever in our team will be able to be given the mantle to carry. The rest will say it is part of the team. Because, you know, when you go to play football, and me in Mutu Arsenali, if you only reward the person who scores, then the goalkeeper will never get a reward. Because the goalkeeper will never have an opportunity to score, but he's, she, he is guarding, then go Konyuma. So everybody is important. There's a saying in my community, that your upper lip is a very small portion of your body. But cut it off and stand before a mirror and see how bad you look. So every cog in the wheel counts. And Mount Kenya, here we are with open arms telling you that come we engage. And as we engage, we want to give you an assurance that never again shall a Kenyan rise against a Kenyan because of politics. <laughs> you know, the newspaper said many times about Mount Kenya that you are restless, that you are anxious, that you are frightened, that you are fearful. We t stand here to tell you, Munga and team, fear no more. You are in safe hands. And this team, I can tell you, my brothers and sisters from Mount Kenya, we are tested, we are tried, we are proven, we are trusted, and we can deliver. We have a trailblaze of delivery. And I want to tell you, that you know, when we Ipasuke, those are dangerous people, those are undesirable people, those are misfits, and those are people that are not wanted to lead this country. We must be ready to say, if it is not me, my brother is as good as myself. Lakini kama onakimbio nasema, Mimi nimechukua, nimeenda nayo, nimefanya nini? Unaweza kujigamba. Alafu mwisho, ujipate tabani. Nini dugu zetu, nikimalizia, nataka kuwaomba. You are the controllers and owners of capital. And I've seen you, Bwana Munga, in the past, support big movements. Don't watch the wind to see if lag and enda namunagani. Because you know us. And you know them. If you've made up your mind that you want to work with us, we are ready. If you've made up your mind that you want to walk this journey with us, we are ready. If you made up your mind that we are partners, we are ready. If you made up your mind that for us to have a cake for Kenyans to share, we must bake it together. We are ready. Kila mota atachangia, ule wakuni, ule waunga, ule wakiberiti, ule wamaji, ule wasukari, ule wamwiko, ule wakijiko, ule wasahani. Kila mutu. Then we'll have a cake on the table. Then we can be able to talk about a one big happy family called Kenya. Where nobody is in want, where the mention of a name does not send shivers down the spine of others, and where Kenyans are free to move 
from Mount Elgon and settle on Mount Kenya and vice versa. From the shores of Lake Victoria and to the shores of Indian Ocean and vice versa. Tukifanya hivyo ndugu zangu, we we'll leave a legacy to our children, to our grandchildren and to generations to come. That is called leaving this world better than you found it. And that is what we must do. I want to end by acknowledging the OCA Secretariat that nobody has mentioned. We have an OCA team here. You can stand up to be acknowledged. The boys and girls that have put us together. And we have supplicated ourselves to them and told them, be our managers, advisors, talk to us, we'll make the decisions as we move forward. Thank you. As a party of Fort Kenya, I also came with my members of parliament who are introduced, but I want to mention Dr. Chris Wamalwa here, the presumptive governor of Transoya County 2022. Uh, my other MPs, there was Nasir Sahal from Wajia, I don't know if she's here. Uh, Ferdinand Wanyonyi, Said Hirbai from Galole, Tana River. Majimbo Kalasinga from my constituency, I think some of them have gone back to parliament. I also have a leadership of my party from the mountain. Uh, Mam Hadija Mustafa, I don't know if she's here. That young girl is... Uh, the director of elections of Fort Kenya Party. She comes from Kirinyaga. She's here with Stephen Dungu, chairman of Moranga. She's here with James Karimi, chairman of Nyeri. She's here with Mohammed, a vice chairman of Kirinyaga, and James Wambugu, chairman of Laikipia. We didn't invite everybody because we knew this was a restricted uh, meeting, but those are the few that we have here. I want to end by saying this. Remember the good old song that we used to sing in school? Kanya gai njia kokwa nguvu na raha. Munai kumbuka? So Mount Kenya and all other Kenyans, Kanyaga Injiyako kwa nguvu na raha. Kwa sababu hilo ni hakikisho la oka. Na hilo hakikisho tutalitekeleza vilivyo, liwe liwalo, mchana usiku, inyeshe zinyeshe. We will hold you and all other Kenyans and we will work as your public trustees for the good of this country, to make sure. The, the party leader of Amani Congress Party, none other than Musalia Mudai.